Hey, it's Jay, uh, Jay Crater, and in this video I'm going to share with you uh, a result of the last four weeks of my work in which I generated over $10,000 in gross revenue. I'll even show what that looks like after knocking out some of my expenses. So I'm going to go through some pay stubs. Uh, if you're interested in Uber and Lyft and, and ride sharing, definitely uh, click subscribe. Join me. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos this year. It is right now December 31st. And I wish you a happy new year. And I'll give you a big wish for a happy new year at the end of the video. So stick with it. Here we go. This will be a short video. Let me get into the numbers right now. Okay. See you at the All end. All right. Let's get into the pay stubs. So we'll start with Uber. Okay. So I started this uh, four weeks, uh, the week after Thanksgiving. And a couple things to notice. Uh, that's, that's the earnings it's uh, after all the deductions. Uh, these, this is my number of trips completed, number of hours, acceptance rate. So acceptance rate just means when you get pinged, you accept. Okay, um, and that's that's what they kind of keep track of. Driver cancellations is is completely different. So that would be I've accepted the ride, I've started the ride, and then I've canceled the ride, and uh, I did that eight times. So the reason I would do this is because uh, there are certain times of the day where I don't want long rides. I don't want to go to Oakland, for example, if I'm in San Francisco and it's 7 o'clock. Because that's going to eat up an hour and a half of my day and uh, for a $30 fare. During, prime, during uh, rush hour, like at 8 in the morning, I could be in the marina, for example. I could do a 10-minute ride and make that same kind of money um, with, with the prime time as high as it gets. Um, heck, one, one, day, one day during this period, I took one woman three blocks. It was raining hard, three-block trip, and it was $20. So I made as much money in that uh, three-block trip as an hour-and-a-half trip to the airport and back in heavy traffic. So learn how to cancel rides and be selective, and that way you'll get your number of rides up, and uh, you'll just make a lot more money. <clears throat> okay, let's go to uh, the second week. All right, so 120 trips, and I'm doing this just to verify the number of trips. Okay, 97% acceptance rate, 18 cancellations. Okay, so uh, use that tool. Uh, third week, 120 trips, accepted everything, 11 cancellations. And the final week, which included Christmas, um, so I took a few days off um, during this, this period, uh, 121 trips. 100% acceptance rate, 17 driver cancellations. Um, I haven't gotten penalized for the for doing the cancellations. I did get uh, an email from them giving me some instructions on how not to cancel. <laughs> but uh, in terms of the acceptance rate, it really doesn't seem to have any any impact. Um, so it's your business. You can run it how you want. But uh, if someone is going to take you so far out of your main main area where you make money. Um, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? Okay, now we can look at Lyft first week. Again, the week after Thanksgiving. Uh, I did 102 rides. Uh, second week, I did 150 rides. This is the week where I, I worked seven days that week. Uh, really put a lot into that week. Um, next week, I did 96. And final week, I did 51. So let me close all these. Okay, so let's look at the numbers. Okay, so this is uh, Uber, okay, and this is Lyft. And what I've done is I've put all the information down here. So this is the fare. These are the gross fares that uh, the, the, the customer was charged. This is the number of trips. So you can see in total I did 881 trips. Uh, this is how much I made in surge. Uh, this is how much I made. Uh, this was actually deducted. So these were fares that uh, were not actually trips that I got paid on that was taken back. This is Boost. This is something new that uh, Uber has uh, started to incorporate. And uh, this is how much I paid for gas, okay, because I buy all my gas uh, through the Uber gas card. And then bonus money right here. And then this is how much Uber uh, got, got paid. And then this is the gross, okay. And uh, I did the same thing with Lyft. When you add it all up, uh, I grossed over $11,000. That's a per hour of $40 and a $13 per ride. Now, I've seen a lot of uh, videos where people say, well, wait a minute, you're not subtracting all your expenses. Okay, well, let's look at what all the expenses are. 
I pay $149 a week for a car. I do that through the uh, Uber Exchange leasing program. I do that because I drive a lot and I don't want to worry about wear and tear and depreciation on my car. So I'm paying $600 a month, which, which is relatively high. But again, when I'm through with the lease, I just turn the car back in. No fuss, no muss. A normal Prius payment would be about $300. So I'm paying really an additional $300 uh, for my car. I'm paying an extra, I estimate, $150 uh, a month for my insurance. I pay Metro Mile about $200 a month. Normal insurance, low ball would be $50. And then I pay a total of 376 uh, 12 and that was my total gas bill uh, for the four weeks. So in total I had $826 in expenses. Even when you subtract the expenses, I'm still making over $10,000 a month. Uh, that's $37 per hour and $12 per ride. I like the $12 per ride because, and that's pretty consistent um, over the last year, uh, that just means every time I get a ride, I'm making about $12. That's, that's a nice thing to keep, to keep in my head. And this year, I've done over 8,000 rides. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty great. Pretty great. So thanks for watching my video. It is now uh, January 1st. It is 2017. Woohoo! New year. It's the new year. Go out there and have a great year driving. Subscribe. Uh, and I look forward to uh, running across you uh, in the great city of San Francisco this year. Bye for now.